Before we get to that interview though, I did just want to say how much I love political semantics. Those words that we use to label ourselves and others. Capitalism, socialism, conservative, liberal, progressive, left-wing, right-wing. We just love these words. We love to attach them to ourselves and to others. To say that something is wrong because it comes from the left or from the right. More often than not, these words don't make too much sense, at least the way we use them. After all, take the term liberal. Everyone in the US knows that a liberal is a left winger. Of course, classical liberals, like Thomas Jefferson, were laissez-faire capitalists. And internationally, liberal still means capitalist. Of course, in the US, we wouldn't use liberal in this fashion. Instead, we would use the term libertarian, which is somewhat ironic since the first people to use the term libertarian were socialists, people advocating for a stateless society of communal property ownership. But today, socialism is associated with government. Unless, of course, you talk to the libertarian socialists, who say that government is a construct of capitalism. And, if pressed, most political philosophy professors might have some trouble explaining the difference between corporate socialism and state capitalism. Of course, each of these words has a history, many of them tracing back to the levelers of the English Civil War. But the history and the meaning of these words is essentially unimportant. What matters is their utility in labeling an enemy. Once one embraces the term conservative, they can then dispatch with everything evil and wrong in the world as liberal. And once one becomes a socialist, some forms of coercive association and hierarchy aren't that bad compared to capitalism. Why do these 18th and 19th century words still have meaning today? Why are they still employed? And why would big banks and oil companies and politicians promulgate these terms, even though they don't really appear to be either? Would a free society have one economic model? Would it thrive under one dogma? One kind of mentality? One sort of person? Probably not. But so long as we believe it would, the status quo won't change. It doesn't matter whether you call the rich and powerful capitalists or socialists or liberal or conservative. A power structure is a power structure by any name. But by all means, let's keep using these terms. Let's keep identifying as right-wing or left-wing. And let's be sure to support the people in power who embrace the same labels as us. Because a pyramid has multiple sides, but only one top.